Hi there, my name is John Stevens. I'm pastor of Zion Lutheran Church in Oregon City, Oregon, and we're part of the ELCA. And welcome to Dollar Store Children's Sermons, where we take a look at the lectionary texts and tie, them something, tie it to something in the kids' room or the garage or the junk drawer or maybe the Dollar Tree, depending on where you can go and what you are able to do. Lots of things. So, this is for the narrative lectionary, and we are uh, looking at the Luke text. The road to Emmaus, walking and two people walking and, and just walking and they're doing some walking and there's this guy who shows up next to him and is walking and they start to have a conversation about what's going on and that whole, um, the surprise, the disbelief that this person, it's not that they get it that it's Jesus yet, but it's this person that has, asks what's going on, and they're like, you know the, the story, it's, are you the only one that have not heard about this? And, and they have the conversation, and, and Jesus starts to talk, and, and, and things get opened up, and, and there's this, you know, it's this, the, it gets cracked open. It's, um, yeah, so uh, what do we do with this? One of the thoughts I had was Lunchables. Yep. Lunchables or a uh, lunch pail. Um, you know, if you have if you have like an old lunch pail from when you were a kid, you could use that. Um, if you have, uh, you know, we one of the things, and this is actually uh, I didn't mean to talk about this, but this is like all of a sudden I'm I'm going down memory lane. Um, taking a can of pop. Being from, I was raised in Idaho, and so we called it pop, or soda, depending, but t or Coke. Taking, taking it because we didn't get that a lot. But when we went on field field trips, um, we got one. And how we would wrap a a can of pop in aluminum foil. That somehow, some way, that was supposed to keep it cooler. It never did. It was always really warm when we opened it up, but we got to wrap it in tin foil or aluminum foil. And the and you know, I mean, I'm all, I'm already going down memory lane. So if you had a um, a, um, a lunchbox, um, the reason I you know, I mean, even just a lunchable or a couple of pieces of bread and peanut butter or not peanut butter because you never know if, if you're with if you're doing it zoom peanut butter could be safe uh if not and you don't know your the kid's allergy peanut butter not um a sandwich of some sort or maybe just two pieces of bread take one piece of bread and the other piece of bread and make a jam sandwich because you jam the two pieces of bread together i know but um it's a it's a joke not a good one but anyway uh, and the stories that connect us as we tell the stories and about how we are connected with one another. And the Easter story that we, we're in the second Sunday of Easter. We're still in the season of Easter and that story. We are story people and they connect us. When, when we get around and we start talking with our families or we start talking with our friends, Oh, I tell you, I mean, we've been doing this for a year. We have stories. Memories are coming up on the Facebook page where it's like, oh, remember when we thought this was going to be two weeks? <laughs> my parents were talking about they were visiting my my brother in Texas and how we, uh, you know, we wanted them to stay in Texas till this thing was over. Yeah, they didn't. They're, <laughs> it was like they got back home a couple of weeks after that, but had, you know, we have our stories. Here, the two people are walk. The the two folks are walking along, and they have this conversation with Jesus. And then they're around the table, and in the breaking of the bread, two pieces of bread jammed together. In the breaking of the bread, they hear the story, and their eyes are opened. And so, when we tell our stories, when we connect with one another, um, there's those things. There's there's that. Um, for the revised common lectionary, for um, with it's the as you as you all well know, it's the Thomas story, uh, faithful Thomas wanting to see what everybody else got to see, but they could recognize Jesus with the scars, 
and so I'm using band-aids. Well, here, the same way um, the having a band-aid, there's a story about it. I've got I have a scar on my hand here that from where I fell near our family's cabin, and I probably fell on the one piece of glass out of the entire mountain. But I have a scar, and that that scar stories we talk about them. All all of this is about the stories that make us who we are, or the stories about how we are made who we are, and. This is the time where we tell stories about the church, about God working in, with, and through us. Tell the stories of the baptisms of the children. Tell the stories about your baptism. Tell the stories about, um, uh, about your favorite time that you served communion um, or the favorite time that you were there and you received the meal. All kinds of ways that we can tell the story that again, highlights the breaking of the bread and how our eyes are opened and our hearts burn within us. Uh, it's, there's a passion. I can actually feel it, um, that this could wrap, the, starting this with the kid's sermon and then moving it into the, uh, to the adult sermon, moving it into the longer sermon. So that, I, those are springboards that I hope, um, are useful for you, and um, I am so glad that you are with me and as a partner in this ministry. I mentioned you know earlier we've been doing this for a year. You've been rocking it, and we're st we still got a ways to go. We know this. We we've got this up and down, and um, more places are opening up to get the vaccine. So I'm very excited about that. Uh, but there's so much stuff, and I am glad you are with me in this. And that you are, that you are rocking it. Um, so bless you, bless you for the work you're doing, bless you for the ways that you minister to your kids and to your entire congregation in all of the ways that you are doing it. All right, I will see you next week. I hope your Easter season is full of joy and the Spirit is burning in your heart. Peace. We'll see you later. <laughs>